Hey, what's going on everyone? This is iReviews back with another video and today we're talking about the iOS 16 public beta. So we're right now on beta 2, the dev beta 2 of iOS 16 and it looks like it's a very interesting update with a lot of new features and changes and especially the big change on the lock screen. I know a lot of people love it and a lot of people want to just try out these new features before they will be able to install iOS 16 on their device in September. So in this video, we're going to talk everything about you need to know about the public beta of iOS 16, which is the update that everyone will be able to install on their device. And of course, try out all the cool new features before iOS 16 gets released to the public. All right, first of all, we're talking about the new features and changes that you can expect to see on iOS 16 public beta one. Well, this update will be released alongside dev beta three, which means that all the new features that we got with dev beta one and then beta two and all the other ones that will come with beta three, all these will be included on the public beta one of iOS 16. So expect to get all the new features. Of course, not all devices will have the same features. Some older devices, of course, don't have support for a few new features that we get on iOS 16 on newer devices, but don't expect to get less than the dev beta. Basically, since it's being released alongside dev beta three, from now on, the both betas will be the same. Every time Apple releases a new dev beta, the dev beta four, the dev beta five, they will release a public beta alongside that. And of course, it will contain all the same new features. Now the process of installing iOS 16 public beta on your device is not that complicated at all. Now, once this will be available, all you have to do is go to the public beta program on Apple here. So I will leave this link right down below in the description of the video. And this is what you will see right here. So right now it says coming soon. Once this is basically available, you will be able just to sign up right here. Now what this does, it allows to sign up with your Apple ID. So you go ahead and do that from here. Now, once you're signed in with your Apple ID from here, it is very simple. You choose here, which software you want to test out. Maybe you want iOS, iPad OS or whichever one of these you want, of course, based on the device that you have, you choose iOS for your iPhone, of course, scroll down here and where it says get started. Now, currently this says iOS 15, of course, it will be iOS 16 once it gets released. So you just tap on enroll your device right here. It will take you to another page and it basically shows you tips. Now what you need to do before you install this. And then all you have to do is just install the profile Now install the profile by tapping in here, download it. It will be installed on your settings. Once this is installed, all you have to do is just go to your settings, go to general and then go to software update and you will get the update here for iOS 16 public beta one, just like you normally do with every other iOS update. So from here, you will be able to easily go ahead and update your device. Now, a lot of people have asked me about updating from the dev beta to the public beta. I don't actually see any reason on doing this, but if you just want to do it, then you can do it. The, the way it works is that you will have to actually delete the current profile that you have on your device before you try to install the public beta. So if you just want to do it, go ahead and do it right now, go to general and then go to VPN and device management and make sure you delete the profile from here. Then once the new profile for for the public beta gets out, you go ahead and just follow the process I just showed you guys and you can just go ahead and install the profile on your device and just update to public beta one, but it will be the exact same. So I don't see any reasons for you to do that. And now let's talk about the release date. We know how to install it. Of course, it's not that complicated at all, but when it will be released. Now, iOS 16 public beta one is set to come alongside with iOS 16 dev beta three. Currently we're on dev beta two, which has been released a week ago, exactly a week ago on June 22nd. Now Apple is going through the two week cycle right now. They released of course, beta one on the sixth. And then we had on 22nd, two, two days after two weeks, that's when Apple released the second dev beta of iOS 16. And I'm expecting them to release the third beta right here next week on Monday or Tuesday. So July 5th or 4th will be one of the days that Apple will release 
iOS 16 dev beta one. And most likely that will be the exact same day they will release the public beta one as well. So expect it to come, I believe it will be July 5th. That's the day that Apple should release the third beta of dev, of course, of iOS 16, and then the public beta as well. Now, usually they do release the public beta like an hour after the release of the dev beta, but you can even expect them to be released at the same time on Tuesday, right here, July 5th. So as a conclusion, should you update or not to iOS 16 public beta? Now, if you're just worried about your device having battery drains or having a lot of bugs or things like that, of course, these things will happen. When you install a beta on your device, you can expect those things to happen. And of course, they will actually happen. But if you just like all the cool new features, and of course you want to try them out, I think this is the right time for you to install the public beta of iOS 16 and even the dev beta. Because Apple won't release any public beta before they know that the software is stable enough so that the public can test it. So it's actually quite good right now with beta 2, a lot of things have been fixed here and of course it's more stable the device heating problem that was with with dev beta 1 has gone away now at least for me here on the iphone 12 pro max and i feel this is a much much better update than of course beta 1 and something you can expect and now with beta 3 and the public beta being released i believe this is the right time for everyone that wants to try out ios 16 of course all these new features to install it right now on their device because if you just want to wait for the public release that will probably be like two months away from now or even more. So make sure you go ahead and install the public beta right now if you just want to try out all the cool new features of iOS 16. And of course, if you even have a second device, not your main device, then you don't have to worry about it at all. But of course, always make sure that before you install it, you back up your device on your computer or on your iCloud. So that is it for this video guys, this is everything you need to know regarding the first public beta of iOS 16. I know this is an update a lot of people have been waiting for as a lot of people want to try out all the cool new features of iOS 16, but of course want to also have quite a decent stable update installed on their device. So I think this is the right time for you to try out iOS 16. And of course that will be next week with the release of the first public beta. So if you just want to be updated and you want to see a full tutorial on the step-by-step -step process of how to install iOS 16 public beta on your device, make sure to subscribe to the channel. And of course, leave a like on this video as that like button will help out a lot. Of course, we'll help this video reach out more, more people and we'll help the channel grow and do much, much better. So that is it. Pretty exciting update coming next week. Hopefully with beta three, with the dev beta three, we'll get also some new features, which also will be included on the first public beta. And of course, make this a great update. So that is it. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you on the next one.